folks, how are you? This is Mike here, Broke Astronomer, and I am going to show you really quick how to add this comet that we're all talking about today. This is February 1st, 2023, and I believe today is when it's supposed to be the closest to the Earth. Um, you can almost see it with the naked eye, or maybe you can if you're in a really dark area, but the moon, of course, is causing us some problems, and if you live in an urban or suburban area, uh, good luck to you. But those of us who have Stellarium and we're want, wanting to know how to find the comet, and I spent some time trying to figure this out, but uh, uh, ultimately I had to um, do some research and I wanted to share with you what to do. So here you can see I have it selected. It's right there. And um, how did I get it in there? Right. So we're going to go over here to configuration window and you're going to go to your plugins and you're going to go to your solar system editor and you're going to hit the configure. Then after you do that, you are going to import elements. Let me see. Is that what we do? I think it's what we do. Yes. It brings this up, import data, and then you are going to, um, let me see if I can remember this. I did this. Oh, click on comments right here and then uh, select bookmark and you are going to choose a list of observable comets right there okay and then you hit get orbital elements and then it shows you a list of all the things now if you just want to import that one of course you just scroll down till you find it um, but me I you know why would I do that Let's see if you can even find it here um, I'm not going to bother looking for it, honestly. Too, yeah, it's, I'm not going to bother. I just said mark all, and I just said add add objects, and then it, boom, there it was. Right. So if you have a Stellarium, this is uh, version 1.2. I just downloaded it today, but I'm pretty sure you can do it with all of them. You know, all the recent versions. But with that, uh, we're out of here. I just maybe it, I could find it. 2021. Oh, there we go. 22. And it is what E three right two thousand C twenty twenty two C three E three right there there it is so I can I can mark that one I can say mark none and then I can just go back and I can click this one and say add object and it will import it right into there so now I have it ready to go and um, this just helps me find it in the sky and slew my telescope to it later on. And again, this is for Stellarium. I hope this was useful. It looks short, sweet, and to the point video. You guys all have a great day and I will see you on the next one. Bye.